Okay guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial video. Hopefully it's quick, we'll see about that. No promises. Hope you got your coffee ready. And today we're going to look at something else I found in Python, like all of these Python videos. It's just ideas I have or different challenges I find online. I get to coding them and if I stumble upon something I will, and I have to look it up, I usually just log that in my phone for video ideas. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask those in the comments. Um, different Python related things. It doesn't have to be about this specific thing. And I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. I'm no expert at Python either, but uh, it's worth a shot, right? Um, so what do you got to lose, I guess? So today we're going to look at how to generate uh, fake information, user information, such as an address, right? So let's say you have a database of users and one of the uh, attributes of a certain table is an address of a user and you know you're it's just for testing purposes so you're not actually going out asking people for their address yet you might in the future but just to test it out uh, you can go ahead and use something like this to generate this address as you can see I already tried it uh, right before I was having a little difficulty for a second I don't know why uh, but it seems to work well so uh, outcome is actually going to be something like this and it looks real uh, but in the end, this is actually uh, fake information. But I'm going to show you how to go ahead and generate that. So uh, first, you want to import the faker package, capital F, faker. And if you're on PyCharm, you simply just search it up like this, and you can go ahead and install it. And if you're not using that and you're using something like command line, it's just pip install and then faker uh, with a capital F. So from here, we are going to from faker import and then with capital F faker so notice the first one is lowercase and the second one is capital and now we are going to create our faker object so uh, you can name it whatever you want for this I'm just going to name it fake and set it equal to capital F a faker object so now we have this fake object um, and we can go ahead and run different methods with it so uh, let's go ahead and get the address. So what I was doing before is I was trying, and it wasn't working. Let's see if I try this time. Fake dot address. And notice the IntelliSense isn't working for it. Um, not sure why, but it should work nonetheless. And there we go. It did work, actually. So we just have a new address. Uh, and if we run this again, we should get a totally different address, just like that. Keep running it we have different addresses as you can see. So that creates a random address for us. Um, so that's address and let's say you have a database that you want to uh, enter their profession into a field. It even does that so if you want a job you can do faker.job or the faker object which is fake.job if we go ahead and play a <laughs> dancer that's me I'm a tiny dancer. <laughs> uh, we have a chemist, analytical. This is really neat. All of the different things that you can do. Um, and another thing you might do when you're creating a database is asking for people's emails, right? And you want to create fake emails as well. Don't worry, we can create a fake email just by doing this. Jonathan Hill at hotmail.com. It's actually probably one. Uh, Evil Legus at green.com. The first one was actually probably someone's email. Um, <laughs> because at Hotmail, you know, that's, that's an actual thing, I believe. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if Rachel Irwin at Hotmail.com was already taken. But in the end, this just randomly generates different email addresses if you ask those kind of questions. I'll go ahead and link a web page that you can reference if you want to see all the, the different things that you can generate. Um, but in the meantime, this is the Faker uh, package, and it does a lot uh, in terms of creating different information. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to find other things I find interesting and share it with you guys, and I hope you enjoy. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.